Nigeria's inflation rate has increased to 14.23% year-on-year in October 2020, as against 13.71% recorded in September 2020. This was contained in the Consumer Price Index report recently released by the National Bureau of Statistics. This is coming months after the country experienced a nationwide lockdown due to the global coronavirus pandemic. Food prices have doubled in the marketplace, making it difficult for the average Nigerian to feed. Some Nigerians reacted to the development. Food are too, are too expensive in my area because uh, um, I will remember as per last year, we can get a, a sachet of tomato, even a tin tomato for like 100 naira, um, 18 naira, 15 naira. But now if you want to buy a sachet of tomato, it's 150 naira, which is too expensive for us. Okay, so I stopped by somewhere in my 12 to buy onions and very small size of onions. The guy said uh, 1,800. I'm like, oh, really? If you look at the, 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 uh, the, the, the level of the rain this year is high and that really affected so many uh, plantations in the north. It, 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 there is flooding that took over farm. Uh, even took over people, took over their, 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 their houses. Also, fuel prices have increased, making transportation of people, goods and services difficult. The rise in inflationary pressure indicates a persistent decrease in the purchasing power of consumers, especially at a time when the country is on the verge of recession, characterized by increase in the price of major food items and service fees. An economist and director general of the LCCI, Muda Yusuf, shared his insights on the development. Is there a way we can reduce, for instance, the transportation costs, make it cheaper for people to transport food items, move less uh, products on the road, make sure that our railway system works well? The second point is to address the security problems in the, in the country, particularly, of course, security is important for every part of the country. For the farming communities, these headers, clashes, uh, and all of that affecting, displacing farmers and so on, that also needs to be addressed. We also need to address the issue of climate change, which is affecting productivity in some parts of the country, because many of them can no longer farm the way they used to farm. The Nigerian government has its job cut out for it, and the situation could become grimmer before getting brighter. Tolulokwe Adilaruba Logun, New Central TV.